Now that we can find and select the brush tool, let's talk about ways to control the appearance of what we're creating. Most, most strokes made with the brush tool, whether it is the literal brush tool like we're using or another tool that uses a brush to perform its effects, are organic and freeform. But if a user wants to paint straight, angular lines, he or she can do so by holding the shift key while painting. In the last video, we experimented with painting with the brush tool by painting random squiggles on the screen. These lines are considered organic and freeform. However, if I was trying to create something more structural, I could hold down the shift key while painting to create rigid angular lines. Line quality, or the look and feel of the line, is determined by many factors. I've drawn two organic and two angular lines that you can see on the slide. The left side shows a hard edge and a soft edge organic line. What makes the lines organic is not the edge quality of the line, either hard or soft, but rather the freeform, curvy nature of the path that was followed to make the line. Do not get these two attributes confused. Angular, rigid lines can have either a soft or hard edge and still be considered as an angular line or stroke. Let's jump back to Photoshop and demo how these lines are created. So I still have the document open that I was working with in the last video, and I just kind of threw some stuff out there on the workspace, but if you look closely at our layers panel, I was not working on an independent layer, I was working on that background layer, and it's always good to use layers and separate your content in case in the future you need to um, edit it independently. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of what's on the workspace, and I can do it in a number of ways. What I'm going to do is I am going to Use a key command. I'm going to use Command A or Control A to select all. You can also choose Edit and then, or sorry, Select and then All in Photoshop. And then I'm going to hit the Delete key. When you hit the Delete key, it will say, well, What do you want to fill that selection in with? And I am going to choose White since my background is white. Now, before I get started on the next activity, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to do all my work on that layer so that it remains independent from the background. I'm also going to choose Command or Control D to deselect that selection. Now we can start painting. And so if I grab my paintbrush tool, like we were using in the previous video, I can start painting again. And if I just kind of make squiggles across the workspace, I am creating an organic or a freeform line. But if I wanted to make a straight line, as I'm painting, I can hold down the Shift key. And as I draw, my lines will be straight. And so I let go of my mouse with my right hand, but my left hand is still holding the Shift key. And now if I click again, it will connect where I left off to the new point. And I could come across to make a rectangle if that's what I was trying to paint. You could also start over and you can draw your lines. Every time you want to change directions, you're going to have to lift up on your mouse and then start dragging again. And you can either drag from the point where you left off, like I'm doing right now, or if I know that I want to continue this line straight all the way to the top of the screen, I can release my mouse, move the cursor all the way to the top of the screen, and then click, and it will connect the last time I was using the brush to where the brush currently is. All right. Thanks, Jessica. You're welcome. The next painting attribute that will be important is to adjust uh, the thickness or weight of your brush stroke. There are a number of ways to make this adjustment. It can be done via the brush panel across the top of your workspace using the options bar or by using key commands. Learning key commands and keyboard shortcuts is essential for success in Photoshop. I feel some key commands are more important than others. This next key command is one you're going to want to memorize. It is something you'll end up using quite frequently. Brush size, no matter what the brush tool you have selected, can be increased or decreased using the right and left bracket keys. Take a minute to find these keys on your keyboard, and then we'll jump over to Photoshop to see them in action. They are usually found under the delete key and near the return key. While I am in Photoshop, I will demonstrate how to change the brush size or thickness via the brush panel, options bar, and using, two, using these key commands. In addition, I'll show you how to access the brush presets panel which can be used to further customize your painting experience. So let me move on over to Photoshop and we will continue um, on this document here. And um, for the brush panel, um, you can either go up here to window and choose brush here. Um, you can also in the, in the painting workspace here, you can go over here to brush and it will pull up the brush panel. 
So changing the size can be done by simply going over here to the size bar and um, moving the cursor um, up or down. You can also type in here. Um, and also, besides this, um, up here on the bar, on the options bar, um, you have the same size control. And you see them moving, um, moving together there. So changing the size, you can actually go in here and open these up um, to change the size. Um, that the shortcut or the, the keyboard shortcut is with the brackets, and I can do the same thing here by pushing um, the right bracket, I can make the brush larger, the left bracket, I can make the brush smaller. So those are pretty, pretty important, and I think, um, like Jessica was saying, that is pretty much the... Uh, keyboard shortcut that I use the most frequently and it's come in um, handy because if you're using this you have to go up, you have to click on it, you have to change the size and then you have to close it up before you can start painting again. So here you can just continue your freeform painting um, by just um, you know on the fly changing your the size of your brush. Now there's another thing here that I want to point out so you have um, some brush presets here um, in your brush preset panel. And if you hit this um, drop down menu here, you can actually add different types of brushes to get some, um, some different brush effects. So in the brush presets here, I selected um, Natural Brushes 2, and if I append that, that means that I add to my brushes, and so I can toggle through and go down, and now I have more brushes and brush textures to choose from. So um, that is a lot about brushes there. Why don't you click on a few of them and show us what the different textures or looks would be? Because right now we have a really soft bread, uh, edged brush, which is kind of blurry on the screen. But if you change it, there might be a different look or feel that you can get from those brushes. OK, so maybe this one. And the leaves are always really popular. People like the leaves <laughs> or the grass texture. Now there's lots of very neat brushes that you can choose from. Um, lots of different styles and textures.